WCC coming to you live and direct from Los Angeles, California. It's your boy, El Cibernetico. Tonight, joined by me all the way from the East Coast. Give it up for Mr. Doug Barrett, a.k.a. What? Doug Barrett, Wade Barrett's little brother. What's going on, bro? Uh, doing good. Just drinking some tea and watching very bad movies. Very bad movies it is. Mr. DJ Gator, you can catch him on WildStyleRadio.com. That's right, WildStyleRadio.com. Uh, from, I believe, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, DJ Gator, where are you at, bro? Yo, what's good, man? What's good, what's you good? What's good? What's good? So, yeah. tell everybody out there in WCC, what is WildStyle Radio? We know, what, is, what is it all about? Wild Style Radio basically is, or was, Dirty D's Radio. It's a station that I had joined a while back and was DJing for. Um, we changed the name, changed the owner. Um, same DJs, same good music. I play hip-hop, R&B from 4 to 8 Eastern Standard Time. And, um, yeah, we go in. You yeah. like rock and roll? You like country? You like R and B, hip hop, the best of the best? WildStyleRadio.com. Oh, by the way, if you got an app phone, we're on TuneIn. So all you got to do is download TuneIn and type in our old station, Dirty Bees Radio. You'll be able to listen to us wherever you go. There you go, gentlemen. Gentlemen, there you go. Thank you very much. DJ Gator, by the way, catch him also Wednesday nights. That's right, Wednesday night sex battles. The number to call, 760-569-7676. Access code 24446 pound. Once again, that number is 760-569-7676. Access code 24446 pound. Gentlemen, let's start it off. TNA. That's right, we got some TNA news. TNA news. That's right, TNA Uh-oh. news. Coming alive, that's right. Ladies and gentlemen, the breaking news of today, TNA Impact announced they have a new, a new member to their roster, and his name is Rampage Jackson. No, 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 I'm not drunk, I'm not high. Yes, you heard it right. Mr. Good old Rampage Quentin Jackson, that's right. Rampage Jackson is now part of TNA Impact roster. Doug Barrett, take it away, sir. What do you know about Mr. Rampage Jackson? Or what can you tell us about Rampage? Well, I know he did a little bit of the UFC and the MMA, if I remember correctly. So he's pretty much kind of like Brock Lesnar is now pretty much a straight-up shoot fighter, if I'm, if I'm using the term correctly. And when, when I first heard this news, I had to do a spit take and make sure I wasn't drunk. <laughs> and I had to I had to really make sure, which is a novel thing for me. But for TNA, this is either going to do one or two things. It's either A, going to make more people watch and be 
very successful, like when Ken Shamrock gained the B7, won WWE, and when Lesnar came back. Or two, this is going to be as bad as when Daniel Pewter won Tough Enough. Oh, you still remember Daniel Pewter. That's fucked up. <laughs> I'm fucking fortunately. <laughs> God damn. So apparently Rampage not only did join TNA, he also joined Bellator MMA fighting, which was pretty interesting because Bellator is actually picking up the pace. Not too far behind from UFC, but UFC un- ended up, you know, kicking everybody's house's ass. So looks like, uh, you know, Rampage will be fighting for uh, Bellator fighting and, of course, TNA Impact. Um, what else can we tell you about this? This was late breaking today. This happened earlier this afternoon about 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, A lot of people are are wondering, what is his role? What's his role going to be behind? Is he going to be behind the stage? Is he going to be some kind of uh, curtain jerker? Who knows? We never know. But then again, hey. I have an idea. Uh Uh-oh. Since he's in the Belmont thing, how much you want to bet they're going to use him as to be his Belmont's aces and eights? Ooh. That's a pretty good theory. Pretty good theory right there, my turn. And you, got, you got that right, sir. Oh, man, here we go. So, speaking of, of Daniel Pewter, uh, did you guys know that uh, apparently Vince McMahon lied? <gasps> That's right, Vince oh, McMahon oh. lied. Apparently he, never gave, he, apparently he never gave Daniel Pewter a million-dollar contract. It was only like 2500 <laughs> Corn, a corner Daniel himself said it on TMZ. Your thoughts on that, gentlemen? He's just a crybaby bitch. No. Damn. Um, is Vince McMahon? No, Daniel uh-uh. Pudor. He, he's upset that he, Miz got over more than he did. Oh, that's true. No, no, I mean, it's Vince McMahon. What do you expect? Oh, that's true. Yeah, did anyone really think that was four million dollars if anybody did that higher than Evan Bourne and Jeff Hardy combined? Wow. You said Jeff Hardy. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, uh, I'm just gonna piss everyone off tonight. Hey, that's all that's all wow. let's well, if you want to get everybody pissed off, let's just start it off. Gentlemen, last night, Monday Night Raw started very interesting. Uh, apparently, the McMahons are back. And, yes, I'm talking about Stephanie McMahon and Vince McMahon. What happened, Doug Barrett? What's going on? So, Billy Gar Princess is just going to come in there and say, leave my husband alone. <laughs> That's pretty much what it sounded like. But, um, yeah, Stephanie pretty much came out like the caring wife. They don't want to break in the match. Vince is coming in like, a smart businessman, yada, yada, yada. Let's be perfectly honest. We know what's going to happen at Payback. It's going to be Curtis Axel getting his first pinball, vi- pinfall victory over a former WWE champion. Right. And that is Triple H. God damn. That's what's up. So apparently uh, last night also, uh, is the Shield going on a nice undefeated streak, if you, if you don't mind me saying about that? I'll admit, and no, I'm not being nice because I do have a bet with Heather, but no. Honestly, the Shield's on fire. Is there anybody out there who's going to be willing to stop the Shield? Yes, but I think WWE doesn't have enough money to pay for him. Ooh, and who would that be? Chuck Norris, Bruce Campbell, and <laughs> somebody from Supernatural. <laughs> Goddamn. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Doug Barrett, Doug Barrett at DougBarrett.com. Uh-oh. But uh, not a Doug on the real, though. Um, Let's get down to business on this one. Um, since when does a big red machine have feelings? I mean, I just want to know. Uh, well, he did have feelings when he was banging Lita and came right. back. I mean, this was supposed to be the big evil, big evil, you know, big red machine, the most dominating machine ever that WWE ever created, and now he has feelings. Hmm. I'm just gonna say, as you said, doesn't this feel like Kane and X Pac? Yes. Yes, it does. I'm not. I don't care what anybody else says out there. Yes, it is true, sir. You got that. You got that one so right. I don't care who gets mad about that one, but yeah, you're right about that. But on that note, also moving on. Apparently, the Usos decided to do a little, you know, paint to their face. So apparently, this is some kind of a little way of saying, "Hey, we're badass." And we're now getting a push. Is that what it is? Um, I'll let Red take this one if he wants. Um, Red's not on. It's just me and you, sir, tonight. 
Oh, it's just you. Okay, I did not know that. I apologize. No problem. Uh, um, yeah, I have. I think it's a push, and I think we will probably looking up the number one contenders to take on the Shield. Oh, the Usos versus the Shield. Hmm, is it possible? Doubt it. I'm sorry, Usos. No, no. I'm sorry, Usos. But I love you guys and stuff. But unfortunately, I don't know why, but they just keep fucking with your guys' heads like that. That's fucked up. Well, here's the. Here's the thing that hit me last night when I was thinking about it after WCC Walsh oh. after show went off the air. Um, you can make a family feud storyline in this because aren't they related to the big Samoan on the shield? Yes, sir. Apparently that's The Rock's little nephew, baby cousin, slash something, something. I don't know. Something like that. So, okay, we could throw family in there. Yay. Make more right. people there. <laughs> Oh, man. Moving on. Obviously, tonight's tonight's theme song, we used Biggie Langston's I Need Five. Uh, Biggie Langston in a series. I, I didn't even know it was a series. That's the fucked up part about this. I didn't know there was a series between him and Del Rio. But apparently, there there was a series. Now now they're saying it's a series. Um, Del, Rio, Del Rio versus uh, my boy, my new boy. Yeah, I'll admit. I am now sponsoring Biggie Langston. My boy, Biggie Langston. Um, this guy has a bright future. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, Langston and Del Rio's little feud slash series, best of five? Well, I think I made the joke last night that I said this was going to be like the NBA Eastern Conference Finals, Pacers and Heat. But, um, <laughs> yeah, this has actually been a very good series, and I'm kind of surprised because I was not expecting Big E to be this good. So I'm going to take back what I originally said a few weeks ago and said he was going to be the next Ad Mad Johnson. Ooh. Now he's going to be the next Mark Henry, which is which is good. Mark Henry's had a good career. Yeah. Um, and Big D's a good talent. I mean, I'm starting to like him. Granted, I'm still confused by his theme song a bit, but it looks like probably after payback we could see Big E versus Dolph Ziggler, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think it was you who said it last night as well on the after show um, that. Uh, was it you or was it Red? I think it was you. Um, that said something about um, this could lead to another Batista Triple H thing. I, I believe it was Red because he's the one who said it first. Because I believe I would just shook my head and said, "Yeah, I agree." I mean, you could say Triple H and Batista. You could say Sean and Diesel. Right. Technically, I mean, but I right. think most most people nowadays would be more recent with Triple H and Batista instead of. Michaels and Diesel. Right. They're like, who? <laughs> has more, well, plus, biggie has got more talent than Kevin Nash. So. Ooh, he said it, not me. He said it. For all you Twitter fans out there, follow us on Twitter at WCC Live. That's WCC Live. Also, like us on Facebook at WCC Live. Or, of course, our favorite group in Facebook, the most dominant group in all of Facebook. Go to Facebook.com slash group slash Wrestling Commentary Central. Moving on. Apparently, we had to see Great Kali. Yes, I said it. Great Kali go up against Fandango. Why? I don't know. <laughs> this is when, this is why we started drinking after the, doing this match. The only positive out of that match was the joke I made. Somewhere there's a cheap hotel in Connecticut missing their shower curtains for Fandango's pants. Damn. <laughs> Moving on, that's, I don't really have not much to say about Fandango, but uh, he might be your next Intercontinental Champion. That's all I'll say about that one. A lot of people don't have a little faith in him, but, you know, he's doing, the, he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. He's a pretty boy heel. He, you're making, he's, just, he's making you just hate his ass. So I love it. I love, I love what he's doing with him. But uh, I don't know, dude. Some of the shit that he's coming up with, yeah, I'm probably more complaining of, about the fact that he's on my team, on my fantasy league. So, yeah, he hasn't been giving me any wins. So, that's why I'm probably stuck at number 16 spot right now. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Moving on. <laughs> right? <laughs> Moving on. Chris Jericho ended up doing a contract signing with Paul Heyman. Apparently, uh, Chris Jericho and CM Punk will be facing in Chicago. Well, hold on a minute. There's a little bit of dispute I have with that contract signing. Uh-oh. Since Paul Heyman technically signed it, shouldn't it be Chris Jericho versus Paul Heyman at payback? Apparently, since he is saying, hey, I'm his advisor slash manager slash whatever you want to call him. But, uh, yeah, I agree with you on that one. That would be sweet, though. 
I mean, apparently Paul yeah. Heyman does owe Jericho some money. Who wouldn't want to beat his ass, you know? I think everybody yeah. wants to beat his ass, but that's just on general principle. Yeah, man. Moving on. Payback. Oh, by the way, all you fans out there, Payback will be in Chicago, Punk's hometown. Hmm. I wonder who's going to win that one. Moving on. What else we got? Well, be sure uh, to Wade, Wade, Miz match. Wade Baron Miz. Hmm. You, re- you want to get into that one? Go ahead. Yeah, I'll give it that one. I, I, I can be honest. Wade Miz so, no sold that damn hammer fist to this damn head. I was like, Miz was going to win this. <laughs> but it pretty much just proves my point. I said a few weeks ago it's going to be a triple threat match for the IC title, and we'll probably get more into that next week. So. Let's Thank move you. on to the Taylor Devil's tag team match now, shall we? <laughs> oh. Okay, so who we got? Caitlin, Naomi, and Cameron going up against AJ Lee and the Bella Twins. Go ahead, Doug. Okay. okay. Somebody commented on the match and said didn't, they pretty much used the same ending from a few weeks ago when the Bella Twins walked out on AJ. This time it was AJ walking out on the Bella Twins. The only good thing about that match was I hate seeing AJ Lee, but I love seeing her go. Mm-hmm. Damn. Something about Caitlyn. I have a feeling that Caitlyn will end up... Uh, something about Caitlyn that just makes me want to go, hey, now. But uh, do you see a bright future for this chick or not? I mean, some people actually hate on her. I see a bright future for her. I mean, she's kind of like a Trish Stratus in a way, which is not bad. I mean, she is, she is talented, more talented than the last few other Divas champions we had, Kelly Kelly and Eve. <laughs> right. Um, and she does do a good speed, I mean, for a female. She right. does pretty good. Um, so, And you could have a good feud with her and AJ. I just want to know who the fuck the secret of Mario is, because now it's getting to the point where it's ridiculous. Right. We need some more divas. WWE, if you're listening, please bring up Paige already. Just bring her up already. Paul, Paul will be happy. I know he will. Oh, Paul will have to pull his pants up every week. <laughs> So, apparently, uh, there was a promo be- before this match started with Daniel Bryan and right back. Daniel Bryan said, you know what? People think I'm the weak link. Blah, blah, blah. We've heard it already for the past week already that he's the weak link. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. He's been giving awesome fucking matches the last two weeks. Uh, wh- what's your thoughts on Daniel Bryan right now? You know, I love Daniel Bryan. Um, I know, but I'm going to be honest. It seems like his storyline, he has a, excuse me, Dan Soda. A Napoleon complex. <laughs> oh, explain. Yeah. Well, you know he thinks he's his height makes him a you know the weak link, which in actuality his height makes him a great link because he can do the submission work, he can do the high flying, which he barely does the high flying now. Which right, might be a good thing. Um, but did anyone else notice doing that match with Ryback? I know I'm jumping ahead a bit, but he did the diving headbutt. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, he did. Shout out to Daniel Bryan. Mm. Via Chris Benoit. Yeah. yeah, and the thing is, at that ring of that, that night, screwed up two chances he could have done. He could have done the Chris Benoit chance, which that would have been fucking hilarious to see on live television. Right. And when my back came out in the ambulance, I'm surprised when it was saying, We want to later. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Overload. The number call is 760-569-7676. Access code 200-446-POUND. Once again, that number is 760-569-7676. Access code 200-446-POUND. Doug Barrett, main event time. Yeah. Curtis Axel going up against John Cena in a no disqualification match. Chi, I wonder how this turned out to be. Doug Barrett, go ahead, sir. Okay, so that's tough. I'm, I, I'm kind of upset because I lost major points on this, so that's all. 75. I'm that. On that, I'm dead last. Thanks to John Cena. Thank you. But in my actuality, how can you have a count-out victory in a notice qualification match? I just, I just want people to let that sit in there for a minute. Okay, right. the minute's up. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That was a good one. I mean, so, shit. Kurt- so Curtis Axel ends up picking the win on a, on a via countout on a no disqualification match. How does that work? People were bitching all over the IWC on that one. Yeah, because I'm sorry. When did common sense tell you, and I'm going to use WWE 13 logic, if you're having a no disqualification match, wouldn't it make sense to, I don't know, turn off countout? <laughs> there you go. 
I mean, somebody would had to be drunk or high to come up with that ending. Oh, mm. really stupid. So it must have been Zack Ryder who came up with the ending. Oh, he said Zack Ryder. That's fucked up. Just hey, like come that. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you heard them already. You hurt their feelings already, Doug. That's fucked up. Yeah, screw them. No, w- no IWC fans anyway, and they probably cheer for Seamus as Lucky Charm ass anyway. Oh, man. Payback will be... Go ahead. How could we forget Seamus and Cody Rhodes? Uh, anyways. <laughs> anyway. Exactly. That was a filler match, by the way. Uh, uh, Sheamus and Cody Rhodes going up against each other for apparently for no damn reason while Sandow was outside getting bitch slammed by Sheamus. But hey, that's another story. There was a reason. It was for the Boa Bucky Charms backstage. Right. So, uh, quick question. Are we ever going to find out who Caitlyn's secret admirer is? Or are they going to just end that? Uh, we'll probably find out after payback. I say uh, it's... I still hope it's AJ just to fulfill my fantasies, but then yet again, I'm a dude. Um, I'm actually going to say it's somebody in the Shield. Hmm. How about this? Vicky Guerrero, she hasn't been on TV for a while. Does, does that mean that she's fired? Or does that mean that we have a new general manager? That, that doesn't mean, does it mean anything anymore? Does the general uh, raw mean anything anymore? No, it pretty much doesn't. I mean, they just she's just there to get a paycheck. That's no more, no less. That's the... Been tired of because of what happened to Eddie. We all know this. We just don't have the heart to fire. Yeah, that's true. I give you that much. You are absolutely right, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Overload. The number to call is 760-569-7676. Access code 2446-POUND. Once again, 760-569-7676. Access code 2446-POUND. Don't forget to catch us every Tuesday night. That's right, every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 p.m. on the East Coast. Uh, for more information, stick to Facebook at facebook.com slash group slash wrestling commentary central. Um, what else? What else? We also got sex battles coming up tomorrow night. That's right. Sex battles coming up 14 weeks in a row. That's right. With DJ Gator. And uh, Thursday nights, don't forget to check out the TNA recipe with uh, myself and Big Red and Doug Barrett. Hopefully he joins us again once again. And, of course, Friday night main event, main event. Doug Barrett, what's main event all about, sir? Well, thank you. I like I like plugging one of the shows I'm on too regularly. Oh, regularly, um, the main event pretty much. If you guys don't know, we talk about the Raw main event. So yeah, get ready for me to bitch more about that. We talk about the main event show that WWE does, and I believe the main event it features Antonio Cesaro. So hey, we might actually have a good main event to talk about. There you go. The main event we talk about, and we talk about the SmackDown main event. So. Yeah, expect probably to hear she'll beat somebody up again. Probably Randy Orton for the 12th on their time. Exactly. Once again, oh, that... No- oh, we forgot one thing, though. Oh. Before sex battles, people, and I'm doing this for Rock and Reese, so Rock and Reese, you owe me. Tomorrow, starting on Ring Rock, is we are doing the King of the Ring tournament, though. So, yeah, call in, because I'll be the one pitching about Jay with King Lawler. <laughs> oh, wow. He said it here first. Ladies and gentlemen, to, ch- to check out all the shows, that's all you got to do. Just hit that number, 760-569-7676. Access code 2446 pound. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Spawn20113. That's Spawn20113 or at DXR420. Subscribe to the official channel of WCC at Spawn20113. Subscribe today on YouTube. Share it with a friend. Pass it around. But just don't pass it around like it's herpes or anything. But just pass it around, though. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, catch us every damn week. We are on five days a week now. That's right, five days a week, Monday through Friday. And if we don't have a show, I'm sorry, people. But I know a lot of people listen to the damn show. That's one thing. We keep on doing this show and every other show. We, we love the fact that you guys keep on listening and tuning in. We appreciate everybody out there. Everybody from Afghanistan, all our friends are in India, all our friends in Italy, all of our friends in England. Doug Barrett in your backyard, of course, Mr. Baltimore himself. Yes, and please, people, please call or subscribe because if you don't, we're going to make you watch the great Collie versus John Cena for the WWE title. He said it. My name is El Cibernetico alongside with Doug Bear, and we will see you next week. Good night. Peace. 
game Haters get shook when they speak my name All this pressure that's on my back So much stress that's on my brain I'ma just let y'all pop your trap Y'all sit back while I pop champagne Spend your whole life trying to get like me Trust me dog, we are not the same Woke up early this morning Feeling like who won't it Everything I do is a one of one Can't copy me, can't clone me Your girlfriend, she want me And she see me, and she own me But it's all for one and it's one for all So I'm faster to my homies And I'm back on top again Better back up out my way I need 50 million a week A new bit for every day This level that I'm reaching Y'all probably couldn't fathom You couldn't keep me in your dreams And I do things you can't imagine Man, cause I made it Yeah, I know you hate it When you talk to me, you know I talk to the greatest Started from the bottom, then I elevated Where I'm at, y'all probably won't make it Hold up Ain't nobody stepping up to me Cause having everything ain't enough for me Ain't enough for me, no. 